What's up, everybody? This is Jose Ortiz from PetRockMedia.com, and we have breaking news about the Sony Disney deal that we thought fell through, but we could be getting some new deals and the new details on that deal. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so if you're new to the channel and enjoy tech, gaming, reviews, technology, and so forth, smash that bell icon, punch that subscribe button so you're notified each and every time we post a video. Okay guys, so if you've been reading the news, you know that a deal between Sony and Disney fell through which allowed Spider-Man to stay in the MCU. Now while everybody seemed to be backing Disney, there were a few, most notably Stan Lee's daughter, who were backing Sony in this deal falling through. According to Stan Lee's daughter, when her father passed away, no one from Disney reached out to her to express their condolences of her father passing away. Now we do know that they have done a tribute to Stan Lee, which you can see in Avengers Endgame, which was just released last week. But that aside, what we have been told was that there was no deal that could be reached between Sony and Disney to allow Spider-Man to stay in the MCU. And so from what we knew, that deal had fallen through and we were no longer going to get the Spidey himself in any MCU movies from this point forward. However, today I read an article that we might be getting Spider-Man back in the MCU. Now this is according to WeGotThisCovered.com and I'll leave the link down below. Now, I'm going to read directly from the article. Now WeGotThisCovered.com states that of course this week has been very rocky for Marvel fans as a lot of rumors have reported that Sony and Disney are struggling to come to terms over a renewed Spider-Man deal which obviously means that its current wall-crawling crusader, Tom Holland, could no longer be part of the MCU. However, other sources have been saying that things aren't as final as people think, with maybe a complete 180 being done to get a new deal struck on both sides of Disney and Sony. One of the sticking points is there's always been talk about a Venom crossover into the MCU, which could be the sticking point for this deal. Now, according to the article, and they make a good point, there's not too much in the first Venom movie, after all, that explicitly preludes it from all happening in the MCU. So think about that. In any case, according to this article, part of the rumor says that the deal is hoping to be settled before tomorrow's D23 panel. So we'll find out soon enough if there's any truth to this. So guys, we may, may still have Spider-Man in the MCU. Stay tuned to Pet Rock Media, stay tuned to this channel, and I will keep you posted as things develop. Peace.